Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. begin our celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. 
Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us call to mind our sins and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. I confess to Almighty God and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest. And, and on, on earth, earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who for the glory of your majesty and the salvation of the human race made your only begotten Son the eternal High Priest, grant that through the outpouring of the Holy Spirit, those whom he has chosen as ministers and stewards of his mysteries may be found faithful in carrying out the ministry they have received. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter of the Hebrews. It was fitting that he for whom and by whom all things exist in bringing many sons to glory should make the pioneer of their salvation perfect through suffering. For he who sanctifies and those who are sanctified have all one origin. That is why he is not ashamed to call them brethren, saying, I will proclaim your name to my brethren in the midst of the congregation. I will praise you. And again, I will put my trust in him. And again, here am I and the children God has given me. Since therefore the children share in flesh and blood, he himself likewise partook of the same nature that through death he might destroy him who has the power of death, that is the devil, and deliver all those who, through fear of death, were subject to lifelong bondage. For surely it is not with angels that he is concerned, but with the descendants of Abraham. Therefore, he had to be made like his brethren in every respect, so that he might become a merciful and faithful high priest in the service of God, to make expiation for the sins of the people. 
For because he himself has suffered and been tempted, he is able to help those who are tempted. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. Fresh and green are the pastures where he gives me repose. Near restful waters he leads me. He revives my soul. He guides me along the right path for the sake of his name. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. You have prepared a table before me in the sight of my foes. My head you have anointed with oil. My cup is overflowing. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. In the Lord's own house shall I dwell for length of days unending. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. Please stand. I will pour clean water upon you, and I will give you a new heart, a new spirit I will put within you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour is coming. Glorify your Son, that the Son may glorify you since you have given him power over all flesh to give eternal life to all whom you have given him. I am praying for them. I am not praying for the world, but for those whom you have given me, for they are yours. I, give, I have given them your word, and the world has hated them because they are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. I do not pray that you should take them out of the world, but that you should keep them from the evil one. They are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. Sanctify them in truth. Your word is truth. As you did send me into the world, so I have sent them into the world. And for the, their sake, I consecrate myself that they also may be consecrated in truth. I do not pray for these only, but also for those who believe in me through their word, that they may all be one, even as you, Father, are, are in me and I in you, that they also may be in us, so that the world may believe that you have sent me. The glory which you have given me, I have given to them, that they may be one, even as we are one, I in them, and you in me, that they may become perfectly one, so that the world may know that you have sent me, and have loved them, even as you have loved me. Father, I desire that they also whom you have given me may be with me where I am, to behold my glory 
which you have given me in your love for me before the foundation of the world. O righteous Father, the world has not known you, but I have known you, and these know that you have sent me. I made known to them your name, and I will make it known, that the love with which you have loved me may be in them, and I in them. May their brothers and sisters, the good news of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po sa atin lahat. Ngayong araw po na ito, Thursday after Pentecost, we celebrate the feast of our Lord Jesus as the eternal high priest no? in line no? or according to the order of Melchizedek. By the anointing of the Holy Spirit, the Father made His only begotten Son, High Priest of the New and Eternal Covenant. God decreed that Jesus' one priest should continue in the church. Ito ho yung kapistahan kung saan tinatambok natin si Jesus bilang dakilang pari natin na tagapamagitan sa Diyos at sa tao, no? Mediator between God and man. In our first reading from the letter to the Hebrews, we heard of how Jesus was speaking of his role by uniting himself no, to us, uniting himself to humanity. No? Christ not only adorns with the royal priesthood the people he has made his own, but with a brother's kindness no? that he chose to be like us in order for us to be like him. No? Pinili ni Jesus na maging kagaya nating tao, pinili ng Diyos na maging kagaya natin siya upang tayo ay maging kagaya niya. And it speaks no, for our reflection today of this priesthood. The New Testament describes the baptized as holy priesthood no? and the priestly people, no? mga taong, mga pari, no? common priesthood. Vatican II clearly taught us that the baptized become a holy priesthood. Tayo mga binyagan ay actually mga pari din. No? Our personal fidelity and lives led in loving obedience to the gospel, become also spiritual sacrifices. Gumagawa rin ho tayo ng samutsaring sakripisyo at sinasabay natin itong inaalay sa Diyos kasama ng banal na Eucharistia. This is what we call common priesthood. Tayong lahat ho dito ay mga pari din. As mediator between God and man, God, God through Jesus Christ realizes this, no? this offering always. No? And we remember this in the Holy Eucharist every time that we attend the Holy Mass. No? Kami hong mga nabinya, na, na ordinahan yung nangunguna, no? perpetually renewing in His name etong sakripisyo na ito na ginawa ni Jesus we, your ordained ministers, continue to nourish you with the word and strengthen you with the sacraments. No? Ano ho ba ang pwede nating makuha no? sa pagninilay-nilay natin ngayon? Kagaya ho ng sinabi ko kanina, no? we have two kinds of priesthood. The common priesthood and the ministerial priesthood. Kaya ho, kung titingnan natin, hindi lang ho kaming mga pare no, na inudanahan yung mga pare, kundi tayo pong lahat ay nakiki, salo, saan? Sa pag, sa sakripisyo, no? sa pagpapatuloy sa buhay na alin, na sinimulan ni Jesus. No? The difference between the common priesthood and the ministerial priesthood is that Common priesthood is 
the vocation, no? common vocation to all disciples of Jesus, called to follow in His footsteps. In fact, po, yung common priesthood precedes, no? na una yung common priesthood kesa sa ordained priesthood. Dahil kami yung mga pare ay tinawag mula saan? Sa common priesthood. Tinawag saan? Doon sa komunidad na mga pare na unang tinawag na ni Jesus through baptism. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, no, perhaps for our reflection today, no, ngayong kapistahan ni Jesus bilang high priest, no, I guess it is also high time for us to appreciate no, our what? You, no? You are also priest, no? Sa anong pamamagitan, Father? Sa pamamagitan ng mga sakripisyo na ginagawa ninyo. Sa pamamagitan ng mga pagtitiis ninyo upang mamuhay ng tapat bilang mga tagasunod ni Kristo. Hindi ito something na trivial, no? Hindi ito something na kailangan mo pa mag-theology, no? Hindi ito something na kailangan mo magmisa, no? Kailangan mong magbinyag, no? Kailangan mong magkumpil, no? You, no? By virtue of your baptism, all of us are called, no? To live a life just how Jesus did it. To emulate His very life and do also sacrifices. And those sacrifices are united every time that we, your ministers, no, ay inuulit, no, hindi inuulit, kundi inaalala yung sakripisyo ni Jesus every time na nagmimisa tayo. That is why we, on our part, have this role this responsibility to what? Give you a better example. Hindi lang ho pwedeng lip service lang. No? Hindi lang ho pwedeng magmisa-misa lang kami. No? Hindi lang ho pwedeng mag proclaim kami ng mabuting balita. Kundi mas nacha-challenge kami na kung ano ang aming sinasabi sa inyo, unang-una, makikita ito saan? sa aming buhay mismo. Actually, pareho rin po no, sa inyo. No? We pray for our common vocation. Anong common vocation natin? Mamuhay ng banal. Mamuhay ng kalugod-lugod sa harapan ng Diyos bilang mga mabubuting ehemplo para sa bawat isa. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, no, for our Holy Mass today, no, as we celebrate Jesus' feast as eternal high priest, no, may we be aware of our role to be priests also, to be ministers delivering sacrifices to God through the very actions that we do by living what? Good example. By living a life worthy of emulation for each other. Because all of us are priestly people called by Jesus to be His disciples in order to make possible His kingdom here on earth. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray to God that we, His people, who have experienced His forgiveness, may bring the joy of reconciliation to the world. In every prayer we all say, 
Father, make us channels of your peace. Father, make us channels of your peace. That the church may truly become a sacrament for the world through the ministry of reconciliation. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father make, make us channels of your peace. That those who are rightly committed to causes of justice and human liberation may not only accuse and protest, but recognize and uproot sin in their own hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father make, make us channels of your peace. peace. That married couples who are estranged from one another may come to forgive, understand, and appreciate one another once again. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father make, make us channels, channels of your peace. peace that we may be healed of our pride and be humble enough to accept our faults and failures so that we may live peaceably with one another. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father make, make us channels, channels of, of your, your peace, peace. That the dead may live in eternal peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father make, make us channels, channels of, of your peace. peace. In the silence of our hearts, let us pray for our personal intention. And let us also remember those people whom we have promised to pray for. Heavenly Father, deliver us from hardness of heart and grant that we may be always ready to seek reconciliation and heal any form of division. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice in your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Lord, may our mediator, Jesus Christ, render these gifts acceptable to you, and may He present us as sacrifices pleasing to you in union with Him who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our truth and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for the anointing of the Holy Spirit, you made your only begotten Son, High Priest of the new and eternal covenant, and by your wondrous design, were pleased to decree that his one priesthood should continue in the church. For Christ not only adorns with his with a royal priesthood, the people has made his own, but with a brother's kindness, he also chooses men to become sharers in his sacred mystery to the laying on of hands. They are to renew in his name the sacrifice of human redemption, to set before your children the paschal banquet, to lead your holy people in charity, to nourish them with the word and strengthen them with the sacraments, as they give up their lives for you and for the salvation of their brothers and sisters, they strive to be conformed to the image of Christ himself and offer you a constant witness 
of his love and faith. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as an exaltation we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God, God of hosts, hosts heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the true phone, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving you thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and the resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all the glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the, the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, has said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, 
you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am, I am not, not worthy that, worthy that you, you should enter under, under my roof, roof but, but only say, say the word, and, and my soul, soul shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. May this divine sacrifice we have offered and received fill us with life, O Lord, we pray, so that, bound to you in lasting charity, we may bear fruit that lasts forever. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by living a holy life. Thanks be to God. Amen.